So, I know I normally start these videos out with a uh, trophy animal of some sort when we're doing these highlight videos and then we shoot it at the end, but uh, today we're doing it a little bit different because uh, there's actually a herd of Rocky Mountain Elk over here and it's got two of the most pathetic looking bulls I've ever seen, so uh, we're going to take out both of them. This is the first time I've seen two level twos in the same herd that look almost identical. If we can just get another angle, we'll actually be able to spot the other one. But there he is. So there's two extremely small males. I don't think I've ever seen this before where we have two of them that are this tiny. So we're going to try and get a good angle and take out both of them. Uh, that one right there. Oh, they're actually going alert and oh, that's definitely not what I needed. I don't even know what guns I have equipped. Um, I guess we're using the 303. Forgot I had my turkey hunting stuff. I think we got them both though. I think we did. It's hard to say though. So here is the first of the two. I believe this is the smaller one of the two. It's definitely one of the smallest Rocky Mountain Elk we've killed in a while. Uh, given I don't typically shoot the ones that are this small when I'm multiplayer hopping, but honestly, for being as small as it is, it's kind of a nice looking one. It honestly is kind of cool, so I don't really mind that. And then we got this guy over here, which is, I think, slightly bigger. Yeah, it definitely is. 270. But that is a wide boy. That is a super wide Rocky Mountain Elk. Definitely, it looks like a tiny bit asymmetrical, but it's so hard to tell. But either way, two very small elk in one herd. Thought that was kind of a cool thing to see, a little bit different than what we would normally find on these hunts. Well, it just gave us host of this server, so we actually might stick around here a little bit longer than I initially intended, because we can actually check some of the uh, drink times for things. And I definitely want to check out the time for turkeys. As you guys know, we have been grinding for a rare diamond turkey very hard the last few days. And I'm not going to pass up on the opportunity to take a look at somebody else's population of turkeys. Oh, okay. So 410 to 480 kg piebald Rocky Mountain Elk. Uh, the question is, where is it now? You know, I'll bet that it's down in these fields. That seems to be where a lot of them go. And if not, then we'll come back to this track and try to figure out which direction it headed off to. But I'm going to go out on a limb and guess that it's out in these fields. That really seems to be where a lot of them go. Okay, so that's not good. The uh, tracks from that piebald have disappeared. Uh, which means we're probably just going to have to go off of these tracks right here from this uh, cow elk. Because that's really all I have to go off of now, which is not good. Uh, it does look like they went in this direction, possibly, though. It's going to be so hard to figure it out. Uh, that actually is some more right there, and it looks like this is actually part of their drink zone, so we actually might be able to find these tracks again if we're lucky. All right, so we just changed the time, and we should be able to find that elk now, since that was his drink zone, and he should be in there now. His drink time was 4 a.m. to 5.30, and we just changed it to like 4.46, so he should be already in the zone. And hopefully it's going to be a monster. There is a chance this could be a level 5. Uh, it's definitely not a guarantee, and most likely it's just a big 4, but we can hope that this guy is actually going to be a 5. You know, I actually can't tell where that big piebald is. Neither of, the, neither of these look like a piebald. I'm wondering if maybe somebody harvested it and I just didn't realize. I mean, I don't remember seeing an elk pop up at all, so I don't think anybody has. But neither of these are the one that we're after. So that makes me wonder, where is he and why is he not here? Oh, I think I know why. There's actually some more drink zone right here. And they are not here at the moment, so I think I spooked them off and... Uh, there's definitely a couple spooking off there, and that might have been him right there. It's really hard to say. Uh, I'm just going to keep grabbing these tracks, and hopefully one of these will end up being from him. Oh! Oh my gosh! Oh no! It is a level 5 piebald! No! It's got a 470 estimate! 
I, this has no chance of making diamond. Like, it, it literally can't. The estimate's too low. No, you have got to be kidding me. We finally found a level 5 piebald Rocky Mountain Elk. And it's a guaranteed troll. Are you kidding me? That's so sad. That is, like, the luckiest and most unlucky thing ever. Man, that's... I, I just don't even know how to feel anymore. I mean, either way, this is gonna be my biggest piebald ever taken. So, it's still pretty cool, but... Man, that is disappointing. That is so disappointing. Alright, there we go. We got him alerted. Let's go ahead and just get a shot into him. Sadly, this guy has absolutely no chance of making it as far as I know. I'm pretty sure you need like a 479 or 481 or something like that for diamond. So 470 has absolutely no chance of making it. Quite sad, but I guess it's still cool to have a piebald that big. I just really wish that it at least had the chance of making diamonds so that I could at least get the suspense of thinking that it could be it, but man, just just seeing the guaranteed troll estimate is so crushing, especially when it's something that you have been wanting to find ever since they came out with the map. It may not have been like one of my top priority trophies to find, but I'd always thought it would be really cool to find a piebald diamond Rocky Mountain Elk, especially since they're not as hard to find as other rares. It was one of those ones where it felt like it was doable, just like a diamond rare turkey. But man, it's so sad to see that guaranteed troll estimate. I just can't believe it. And it's the pattern that I like too. Ah oh, man, that's just... It just gets worse and worse. I can't really get a good picture either. It's a kind of a little bit too early in the morning. But man, that's crazy. So I guess uh, maybe this is the best way that we can get a uh, screenshot. There, we'll just have to go with that, but let's go ahead and claim this guy. 457.50. That's so sad. I mean, it's still going to be the biggest one we've killed. So we will tax it, but man, that's so sad. So sad to see a guaranteed troll piebald. And diamond is 481, so this guy is actually quite a bit below. I mean, at least he's still absolutely massive, so he'll look good in the lodge regardless. Just not what I had hoped for. But, let's go ahead and move on. Well guys, unfortunately I wasn't able to find anything else good on that server. I found a lot of turkeys. None of them were anything special and in fact it was like 95% hens on that server. There was not a lot of toms, but uh, we did get that Rocky Mountain Elk so I can't really complain too much. But, but anyway guys, let's go ahead and jump into all of the highlights from Silver Ridge Peaks over the last week or so of streams. We got some pretty cool kills, so let's just jump straight into it. Little piebald uh, pronghorn. At least it's something. They may not be super hard to find, but that's not bad. I'll take it since today has been pretty uneventful for trophies. There we go. There is a little piebald pronghorn. It's just a silver. I do eventually want to get a diamond one, since these are a little bit more common than the other rares. It would be kind of cool if we could get a piebald diamond one eventually. I don't think it'll happen anytime soon, but it would be nice. You know, I think that might be piebald. That's a really difficult one to tell. Because it's got one of those patterns. If it is a piebald, it's got one of those patterns that's hard to differentiate between the others. But I think it might be. And if so, that's a pretty big one, honestly. There he is. That's definitely a piebald. Definitely is. That's a pretty big one, too. Like, that's a really nice level four. Oh, how did we just spook them off? That's him right there. It's got to be. I think that's him.
I think that was him because the other two threes just ran off. All right, let's see. Common. Did we shoot the wrong one? We must have. No. Oh, hello there. Oh my gosh, the speed at which we took him out. I can't believe that worked out like that. <laughs> that was the riskiest shot ever. And it somehow worked out. That's pretty cool looking. That is really nice. We did get vitals, thankfully, so... Hi. Bye. There we go, 386. Oh my, lower neck. Uh, first shot was spine, second hit lower neck. We got really lucky. Not a bad one. I think we've got one better, so we're just going to save it in here. And maybe we'll tax it later. But I mean, either way, that is a very large piebald. Well, hello there, uh, ugly rack mule deer. You have shown up once again into my life. The only one that I'm not going to wait for it to stop. Disgusting. Well, I mean, at least it's a diamond, right? Even if it is an ugly, disgusting diamond. Of course, that would be the diamond we found today. <laughs> Oh, man. Like, of all the ones that we could have found, why that? Why couldn't it have just been a good rack? Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh, that is awful. I will not miss these guys. I will not miss them when I go back to the Great One grind. Be nice to get away from ugly mule deer and back into some whitetail. Although mule deer are on the map too, so might have to deal with it then also. 338.40. I mean, these ones are pretty much guaranteed diamond. And it's max weight, as like almost all of these weird rack ones are. Holy. 338.40. Not my biggest one. I think my biggest is 341. And that's actually the dilute one that I have, so I really hope this gets fixed soon. That would be amazing. I really hope it gets fixed. Well, still our first diamond of the day, though. Even if it is this uh, disgusting rack. All right, well, honestly, I still don't even know what to say after getting trolled by that level five piebald. We're definitely gonna put it up in the lodge. I don't know where as of now, probably in place of one of these other elk that's up. I mean, we have three Rocky Mountain elk right here, so we could probably remove one of them. I mean, we've got this guy right here that scores 507. He's just a common, so we'll probably remove him and keep these two 509 ones here. So let's just take him down and get our piebald right there. That is, man, that's still so sad. I can't believe that that happened. I mean, it is what it is, though. Not really too much we can do about it, but man, that's just so sad. Well, guys, that's really the only thing we had to show off today. The rest of the stuff that was shown off in this video did not make it into the main lodge, so we will not go over it, but we had to at least take a look at that beautiful piebald Rocky Mountain Elk. I'm still so sad that it didn't make it, but still makes a nice addition to the lodge. But with that being said, if you guys are brand new to the channel, be sure to click that subscribe button, click the like button, and ring that notification bell so that you guys will never miss a video. Also, comment down below with your favorite part of this video, what you want to see me do next, or what you guys expect to see out of the brand new map, Rancho Del Arroyo, when it gets released. But with all that being said, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace!